Or you can call me Frank. I'm studying at Faculty of Political Science, j u l a l u n g k o n University. What are factors or major changes in life you think led to develop this kind of attitude? I think that it happened when I was in grade eight in school, and uh, at that time I was reading some books about Thai history. It's Very, very contrast with what teacher taught in in classroom. So I went to this class with him, but teacher refused to answer me. He said that it's the textbook, and I have to learn. I should not question much. So at that time, I think Thai history or educational system in Thailand had some problem. So I think that I am not a special or distinct. In Thailand, we try to make people feel that they are same, but in reality, people are different. What do you think and feel about other people's attitudes and responses towards you? Yeah, as I said to you before, Thailand, Thai government or Thai military, junta. Try to make us feel that we are the same. We are under the control of the power. We can't think differently. So being different in Thailand is not easy. Then what is your standpoint, or what is the thing that you are now fighting for? I love this country very much. I was born here, and I think I know many things. That this country had, we have a lot of people who have the potential to make Thailand great. But why Thailand, you know, have been replaced by the army, by the elite for a long time? We are in the country that economic politics very, very weak because this country are not belong to us. It belong to some body. Or some group, I want this country to emancipate themselves, to open to people who have a lot of potential to participate, to join in this country, to move this country to be more democracy, to be more strong in economic, strong in humanism. But I think that if we want to change this country. We can't only complain. We have to do something. We have to point it out. What is your reason behind standing up amid the ceremony of taking the oath of allegiance? King j u l a n g k o n he ordered to abolish this kind of tradition. But this university, named j u l a l o n g k o n University, why don't we do as he ordered 100 years ago? Why he think that we have to abolish this tradition? Because he think that this tradition is humiliated people. He want this country to progress, to be modern. And I think what he order at that time very, very suitable for us for this time that we are a modern. And the king, especially King Rama the n i who just passed away, also he like modern. Tradition. He want people to be equal. He went to visit people, and you know he kneel down and talk to people. The king also want equal, but why tradition in j u l a l o n g k o n make us inequal? Can I conclude that in fact you respect the royal family, but you are the one who thinks differently? I'm very interested in monarchy. And I also have some talk with some high monarchy. 
also. Many people are open to me, but people around them want to make a profit. So they press them and then did many, many things that do harm to the monarchy. So I have to speak some truth for protecting monarchy also. And when you stood up that day, was it a planned action or you just did it for your own satisfaction? What I did in the stage of the Rama Chula Longkorn and Rama Wachilawut, I deliberately and consciously planning before. Because I want to inform people, inform students that Chula Longkorn Lama the fifth abolished this tradition. But if I if I don't take a clip, I don't uh, have statement, I just did it or just post on the Facebook, it will not have an impact to people to have a discuss thing agree or not. We have to have some discuss. I did it and it had a lot of impact. Do you want to leave any words for people who are watching? First of all, we have to we have to think that people who are different from us are human beings. Many people in history, some of them are very very think different from the society, but then their ideas now become common with us. Civil rights, black people 100 years ago in the US don't have an equal right. Women right, GLBT right, but then these ideas become very, very common. And it help us, help people. Or you know, Alan Turing, very intelligent person. The state punish him because he was LGBT. But now LGBT people now can have a right to prosperous more. So I think Thailand also have to learn that diversity, very powerful. It makes us rich, not just rich by the race, but rich by knowledge. And it will help society to very strong.